This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. It really, I believe, is a game changer for the region. A game changer for the region. There is a new plan for attracting more tourists to the Reno Tahoe area, and that is tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story at 530. The Reno Sparks Convention and Visitors Authority announced a new branding campaign today, hoping to bring new groups of people here, and that includes this new logo right there. Good evening, I'm Landon Miller. I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here tonight. We've put this new logo on Facebook today to get your response. Yeah, so let's take a look at what some people have to say. Barbara Rodriguez says, well, it does look like the blue waters of Lake Tahoe. Kelly Dye says it looks a little old, tired, and uh, lacks creativity. And then Josh Simmons writes in, says, uh, I think it is very appropriate. The E's are drunk. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're just happy. They're a little, they're a little slanted. A little bit. A little tipsy ease. <laughs> Drunk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ariana Bennett joins us now live from the newsroom with a closer look. Ari, why the change? All right. So the RSCVA hired a firm to do some research, and they learned that there are some roadblocks to attracting visitors, namely that people have some mixed feelings about what they'll find here, and unless they're big on gaming, they don't typically come back. So they're hoping to change some attitudes with this campaign. Take a look. All right, so that's one of the ads that's going to be airing. They want to emphasize Reno Tahoe's contrast, that visitors can ski, climb, kayak, and tour craft breweries all in the same day, and that our area is a perfect place to have new experiences, cut loose, and make memories, preferably those that get posted and shared on social media. We're looking towards more Gen X and Millennials. We're not ignoring the baby boomer and the older generation, but the hotel casinos do a tremendous job promoting and, and speaking to that uh, demographic. Now, good news here. They say this task is actually easier than it's been in a very long time since the region has done so well economically. There's just a lot more money in the budget to market out of state. Now, they're focusing on the Bay Area, Seattle, and L.A., and it starts next week. Covering the story live from the newsroom, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News. All right, very good, Ari. Thank you.